How to fix the issue of invalid configure file error in mini tool partition wizard. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix an error in the mini tool partition manager software that occurs when you try to extend a drive. So what's the error? Whenever you try to extend a drive and hit apply, it shows an error that says something like invalid configuration file. But don't worry, in this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to fix this error and successfully extend your C drive. First, open Google Chrome or any browser you prefer. In the search bar, type in dp.com. So what you gotta do is once you're on the website, go to the main menu and look for Partition Manager. Under that, you'll find a tool called Partition Assistant Standards. So this is the software we'll be using. It's a free tool, no need to pay for anything. So click on the file labeled Partition Assistant Standard, then click the button that says Download Free. The download will begin and it will ask you where to save the file. So browse to your desired folder and save it. After the download is completed, open the installer, click yes when the prompted and then press next or OK to proceed. Now it may ask you to upgrade to the pro version. Just skip that. Click the skip button and then click install now. The installation will now begin. Once it's installed, click enjoy now or launch the software manually. If it opens a website, simply close or minimize that tab. Now the software dashboard will be open. Right click on the drive you want to modify. For example, if you're using the D drive to create an allocated space, you gotta right click the D drive, select resize and adjust it to create an allocated space. At the top menu, click apply. If your laptop battery is low, that is under 70%, the software might show a warning. Just plug in the charger, press OK and proceed. Now the D drive is unallocated. After that, you get a right click on the C drive, then go to advanced and then merge partitions. You'll see your C drive selected and just below it, the unallocated space will also appear. Check the box next to the unallocated space and click OK, then press proceed. Your system may restart. Do not press any key when it reboots. Let it complete the process automatically. Once done, your C drive will be successfully extended. And that's it for today's video. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials. So I'll see you in the next video.